on my head. I was going to get a posting on my yeah, head. Yeah. I used to say that all the time. When he would show this move to me when I first started, he was like, yeah, I used to have hair there, but I posted on my head too much. And I'd go home and I'd be like, man, I'm only 27. I, I can't start I don't losing my hair. Yes, you know, I, uh, and of course I was lying, but you know, <laughs> going to lose, going to lose it. Well, guys, we're, we're going to work on uh, what I think is one of those bread and butter moves. It's hit little Juju Gatami. And I know if you've worked with us and you've seen our videos, and all that, we love this move. It, it, it's like, I compare it a lot to, if you would compare this to a throw, it would be like Uchimata. Um, you know, the classic style, you know, split down the middle Uchimata. That takes a while to learn, to get the mechanics down to fit your body. Well, this is a good comparison to this arm lock here, head roll Juju Gatami. It's, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a bit of a learning curve, but once you get it, and drill on it a lot, it is a real high rate of success. It really, really does work. So, uh, head roll Juju Gatami is one of the, again, one of the four basic applications of Juju Gatami, but it is probably one of the most popular, maybe the most popular form of it. Yeah. And, and no matter who you see fighting, whether it's Ronda Rousey or Neil Adams or any of the other guys, or, or Derek or any of the other guys, this is effective. This is a highly effective technique. So let's, there are a lot of details we're going to cover here. We're kind of trying to show you the science of it so you guys can always refer to it and drill on it when, when you want to. Okay, so let's take a pretty good look at this. All right, so as always, try and get back behind them. It's, it's easier. And a lot of times what will happen is you'll be behind and you'll be trying to go for taking his back and you're trying to get the near hook through and you can't. So then you can step through and post. Right down onto the top of your head and you hook with your far foot. So Everybody come over here so you can get a bit visual here. See, see what you're going to do to your anchor when he comes over here. Well, watch what he does here. Look at, I'll get in your way just a second. Okay. See how his foot is anchored on the upper leg and, thigh and hip here? That's important because that locks him in place. Okay, now look how he's across his body here, perpendicular to a degree. Now everybody come over here and look, Derek is now on top of his head, not on the shoulder. It's important that you be on top of your head. The minute I do this is the minute that he starts crawling up in my guard, or even worse, he just goes out the door, and now I'm the one getting arm locked. Right. We don't want that. Okay. We don't want that. Put your post arm down first and then come down onto to the top of your head. Uh, I didn't use to emphasize that as much, but there was one too many times when I did this quickly in, in competition, and I just you know kept whacking me myself on the head because it was going too fast. So use it kind of like a break. Okay, you're you're already here. Boom, break. Head down. Arm comes through. See that arm? That's really he's trapping with his right arm. He's immediately snatching yep. his left arm here. Why his left arm? And see now he's, start, he's starting to set up the lock. He's trapping that arm to get the lock. So when I'm in gear and I'm doing this, I'll try and reach up and grab the lapel to keep that elbow as close as I can. If I he's can't, I'm going to pull his arm as close to me as possible. My knee comes down and my foot hooks the back of his head. See this here? Okay. Now watch what he does. Watch what he does. I'm going to roll onto the hip, lift his leg over, and now I'm sitting down. Just like we would in spinning juju. So if I'm through here, this and one closest to the head, that's the one that traps. Right. That's the trap arm. Okay. Now also look here. Look at the angle. Kind of like an L shape, right? That's important. You know, if Derek goes too much in front here, 
he's out of position to really catch a nice roll down. Now, there's not gonna, a roll's not going to happen. It's just not going to happen. So you've got to be an L shape here. Now watch this knee come across the back of the head and the shin. Now other people may use the whole leg. I think this is quite efficient. And that's why we do it this way. I found for me, and too, the more I push that head down and he, under. It pushes the head down and in. It pushes in with the easier to roll him over his head. What's called the head roll. That's it. And, and now he just rolls him over. Now, sometimes, in fact, in many times, you'll have to do what we call a leg drag. Or we're trapping the leg. And wants to, why don't you just show the ground? It's okay. like this is a little good one. All right, so we're through here, and the, the one difference I'm going to do is after I post my head and I scoop the arm, my posting hand is going to come back here and grab his leg. Watch his left hand in this case. He's going to trap the leg. Watch what he does. No. Catch. Catch. Okay. I've got his leg and i got his arm. Okay. You can have a gable grip, an S grip, whatever you want. Usually I've, I've got a gable grip. Put my foot down. Boom. We come up and I've got his leg and his elbow in my chest. Collect the head. Okay, if it, you have to, I think when in judo we have to let go of no, it. No, no. Well, in freestyle we don't in, in I don't know about No, not idea. I don't think so because you're on the ground. You're on the ground, you're right. Once you're on the ground. You can oh, touch the leg. Keep the leg. Yeah. Once you're on the ground. Sweet. Yeah, they changed it back. It's not a leg lock. You just no, it's not. It's Good. Not. Okay. Keep the leg because it makes it a heck of a lot harder for him. Him. Yeah, it stretches him too. Now, on those leg drags, you can maybe grab the ankle, but never grab inside the pant leg. Well, that'll get you in trouble. Watch, when, when you do this, you know, you don't have to hook the leg. I mean, it's one that's quite, quite efficient. But you might want to just grab the ankle. See that? You might want to grab his far ankle. You know, you can grab the other ankle. He says you have to grab the near one. It could be the far one. Whatever works for you. It's like one of our guys, Mike Pennington, prefers to grab the far ankle. Yeah. He likes to trap the leg in and roll him over. Um, so depending on, on which way you're doing it, it's usually easier to, to roll him in front of your face for it. The one difference I think is if you can catch both legs like Eckersley does. Oh yeah, yeah. So, he does it, yeah. Quite, he's quite right. skillful. Yeah. So for this one, when you grab a part of the leg, okay, and boom, my knee's down, and this isn't working. So I'm going to grab some leg or pants, and I'm going to pull it up and in front of my face once I roll. So that's what we call it a drag. You're not lifting it. You're dragging it in front and over. Makes sense? Yes, sir. But there are a lot of steps to that. I mean, admittedly. But the point is this. Once you get it, and you practice and practice and practice, just like any throw, uh, it's a long learning curve, but once you get it, Man, you have a dynamite, very successful, um, aggressive maneuver. Maneuver, yeah. And you can do this from just about every position you can think of. You can do it out of guard. You know, you can do it out of, uh, you know, pretty much anything you can think of. Kami Shibitami, Tate Shibitami. There, it's, it's all there. You just have to kind of figure out the... Yeah, watch our videos because we have a whole lot of things, even from the bottom position in Neiwaza, head will Jujitami from the, from the leg press. There are a lot of ways to do this. But I used to hate this move, like I, because I could never get it against the, the bigger guys, because I wasn't paying attention to what we just highlighted there. And Steve would say over and over and over again, use the hip hook, put your knee down first, and, and use your your other foot to, to cuff the back of his head and roll him through. And I, yeah, 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 Steve, I'm listening. I understand. I understand. It was like a year and a half to two years before the light went on, and then I was like hitting guys left and right with it, and it's now like my favorite entry game. Hit the juji because you can't hit it from almost everywhere. Yeah. yeah. So no matter what sport, too. You see, Ronda Rousey used it. You see, whoever else you name them, they use it. You know, they don't juji So yeah. All right. So let's work on it. It takes some time, but let's work through it. Help each other out. Okay. Sometimes the best coach is your partner.